time with each other, be, be in, in the, uh, in, in the um, positive side. What you said sounds very nice. Yeah. We can be negative too, but it's our choice that we, we want to be positive or negative. How do you know that this is what God wants from you and what God wants from me? Now it's complicated, isn't it? I just made it difficult now. Yeah. So the point I'm making is, I agree with you that there is a creator, there's God, Allah. I agree with you that the creator, Allah, created us for a reason. Yeah? And I agree with you partly in regards to, to be positive, to be kind, to be loving, as well as other reasons. Now, how did the Creator communicate this to us. I believe as a Muslim, because I'm a Muslim, that God, Allah, sent prophets and messengers. Do you believe in prophets and messengers? Prophecy? No, no, prophets as in men chosen by God to articulate, to tell us what to do, what not to do, how to live, as in... You don't believe in prophets? No, that's for Muslims. I'm not, a, I'm not Muslim. Yeah. So, Okay, do you believe in Abraham? Do you believe in Moses? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in um, Muhammad? Peace be upon um, all of them. Um, yeah, I, 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 I believe that they were, uh, they, 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 they were really uh, religious, religious people and uh, very uh, close to God. But if they are something big or Jesus stuff, no. Were they sent by God? No. You don't believe they were chosen by God? No, I don't believe it. Okay. They can be close, but not the chosen one. Pardon? They can be close, mm. but not the chosen one. And by the way, just to clarify, when I say chosen one, I mean they were men, there wasn't God, they're not partners with God. God inspired them to teach us what to do, what not to do. For example, why do I believe this? I believe this because it says it in the Quran, yeah, which is the Muslim religious scripture. This has been perfectly preserved over 1400 years. Yeah. You can, this is objectively true. You can test this, you can verify it. Because um, if you... Um, um, you you, you want to make me a Muslim? Um, my uh, country is a Muslim country and in my idea I'm a Muslim. Hmm. What, what, what country are you from? What, what, what country are you from? Iran. Iran, okay. Um, but then, to be a Muslim, there's criteria. Yeah? And there's six articles of faith. Yeah? So you have to, as a Muslim, we have to accept that all the messages of God. We have to accept all the scripture that was given to them. We have to believe in angels. Yeah? We have to believe in Judgment Day. We have to believe in Allah and we have to believe in um, predestination as in decree of Allah, as in good and bad, everything is from Allah. If we don't believe in these six articles of faith, we can't call ourselves Muslim. Yes. I don't mean in a rude way, does it make sense? Yes. It's not for me to say if you are a Muslim or not. If you call yourself a Muslim, Alhamdulillah. I'm, 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 I'm telling myself I'm not a Muslim. Why? I'm telling myself I'm not a Muslim, so it means I don't believe in this stuff like hell or heaven. Yes, I don't believe in this. Yeah. Or that we only live one time, that there is not another life. Yes. Okay. Now, where is your evidence for this belief? Because you're saying Islam isn't true, or you don't believe in Islam. Yeah? I don't put words in your mouth. You believe Islam... Um, you wouldn't call yourself a Muslim. So that means there are things in Islam you disagree with. So how do you know what you believe is correct and what Islam believes is incorrect? Because I was going to give you my evidence because I believe the Prophet Muhammad isn't a normal man. Quran, right? Yes. I studied for 12 years. Then you should be very knowledgeable. I studied for 12 years. Please don't show it to me. What, what, did, you, what did you study? Tell me. Um, it was a... Um, in Iran? I'm, I'm Iran and in this country? Uh, no, my country. Yeah, yeah. 
Arabic language, we learned in Arabic, and the, the uh, subtitles are in our language. That okay. What it said, all this stuff, and so we, had a, we had a course about um, about um, religious studies. Religious about Muslim. Mm. Yeah. So, so I know all of this stuff. Okay. Now, then you should be able to give me the evidences of how the Quran has been perfectly preserved. Did they teach you this? Actually, I never, I never, uh, I never uh, pay attention to that. There you go. So that's the problem. So you didn't study it for 12 years. You taught it for 12 years, but you didn't pay attention. And the fact of the matter is, I never believed it. You don't know what you believe because you haven't looked into it. Because right now, you went into class saying, I don't believe this, or I don't want to believe in God. No, no, sorry, because you believe in God. I don't want to believe in Allah. I don't want to believe in religion. I don't want to believe in organized religion. I don't want to be told what to do. Am I correct? You're someone who doesn't like being told what to do. Am I correct? I only listen to my God. Who? I don't care about... But how do you know who your God is? People. Tell me about your God. Your God, give me your evidence of your God. How do I know? That you're talking to God and not the devil. I hate. I Maybe it's a mental illness. No offense I, to you. I hate. I, I hate religious subject. Why? I never talked about it. Why? Because I know I would, I would get into a fight sometimes with some people, not everybody. With some people. I'm a very calm person, don't worry. You won't fight yeah, me. Yeah, I know. You're calm. You're that's calm. that's why. Let's yeah. continue talking. Does that make sense? I'm scared, you're going to hit me with the camera, I don't want but to fight you. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I have to take photos and it's too late right now. And what time is it? You don't even know what time it is, it's not late. It's, it's still afternoon time. I think it's a little bit past seven. Well, it's late for me. Because I have to go back too. Yeah, it's late for me as well. But I'm making time because it's important. Because right now, with all your respect, you're telling me stuff, but you don't back it up. I want you to back it up. I want to hear why you believe what you believe. I haven't forced you. I'm, I didn't say, oh, you're wrong. I've never said you're wrong. Yes. Does it make sense? I'm being polite because I want to, I'm curious, like, why do you disbelieve? What makes you think, because I'm, I'm still going to give you the evidence, hopefully, if you give me time, the evidences of why the Quran is correct. If you want Maybe to give I me... I don't have time. No, no, but give me, give me some, because you're like, this is what you believe. Why do you believe it? I have, I know what I believe. And I can tell you why I believe, and what I believe is objectively true. How did we from, how did we from photography come to this? <laughs> so you wanted to talk about this, right? I wanted to, I'm, I started off asking you questions because I'm a curious person. I want to understand like right now, I, I'm here often. I talk theology, right? But each person I speak to you, I find them interesting. Even yourself, like, you know, I said to you, I want to see how you see the world. You're somebody who spends time, you're artist, capturing the beauty, or maybe you're capturing the, your perspective, you, something, you're, doing, you're expressing yourself. So I'm curious with yourself. So right now, you've made a decision, being born in a Muslim country, as Iran, yes. yeah, <coughs> which I don't know how much of an Islamic country Iran is. I hate that country. I'm not a big fan, but I've never visited. But I would say never, that... Never. Never go there. Why? The government is a bunch of savage. What's savage about them? They kill people if they don't listen to them. Something like if you don't have a hijab. They will kill you. Now, in Islam, as a Muslim, yeah, there is no death penalty for a woman not wearing hijab. This is not what Islam teaches. Islam teaches for women to wear hijab. I'm not going to lie. Yeah? Islam teaches this, but Islam doesn't teach... It never said that you have to go there and kill people. No, no, no. Not, not for not wearing hijab. Definitely not. Yeah? So right now, I will distance myself from what Iran is teaching. Yeah? Because there's uh, many things that Iran, the country of Iran is doing which I disagree with. Yeah? 
But again, this isn't for me to talk about Iran or say bad things about them. Like I said, I don't. Whatever you, whatever issues you have with them, I'll probably have the same issues. Yeah, but just because Iran is doing Islam wrong, and it doesn't make Islam wrong, because you never said Islam is wrong. I just said I don't believe it. Yeah, well, that's basically we what you're saying. You're being yeah. polite, but if you we don't believe many in something, religious. elaborate. What do you mean? They all can't be right. So if you're saying Islam isn't right, but default is wrong. If there's things you don't dis you don't agree with, but default you disagree with it. Does it make sense? If you don't agree with something, you're, it necessitates that you disagree with it. Does it make sense? You're like oh, um, yeah. So listen, it's like as an artist, all yeah, you choose a color and you're like, look, I'm never going to use this color. I don't believe in this color. Yeah. So I'm that means an artist, I don't care about this stuff. Hmm? I don't care about this stuff. Oh, most people I don't. I just care about my work. Yeah. I just care about my work. And uh, what, what is your work? Focus. To create art or to pass your art course? I mean, in animation. Course. Animation, yeah. Right now, do you agree we're gonna die one day? What? Do you agree we're gonna die one day? Yes, everybody yeah? dies. Everyone dies. Yeah. What's What's your destination gonna be once you die? How do you know? Because it doesn't make sense. You live only once. But what do you right now? If I was to say to and, you, and, 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 how much do you do, 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 do you sure that that um, Muhammad is correct? Do you have any evidence that he is correct? Except a bunch of books. Beautiful question. Beautiful question. There right. is, there is a question. I, I'll you give you my answer. Sure no, no, you're not sure. I will, I will give you my answer. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I understand. Feeling. Why do I believe the Prophet Muhammad is correct? Beautiful question. The reason is, right, when you look at his lifestyle, um, he wasn't known to lie. He never lied. There's nothing he prophesied. He said what happened didn't happen, which means he was a prophet. Because there's, there's a chance, like, you know, I could say something, I get it right. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. With the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, everything he said, yeah, came true. Yeah, How the prophecies. Do you show? Do you say, let, let, me, let me finish my. Do you have me, any evidence except books? You can. You I'm, I'm going let me, let, to. Let me, let, me, let me finish what I'm saying. Like, right now, men. Men are very simple creatures. Yeah? What do we want? We want women. We want money. We want um, status. Yeah? Give us these three things, yeah? we'll be happy. Yeah? Just to name a few. The Prophet, peace be upon him, right? he came at a time where um, there were people worshipping many gods. Yeah? And he said that, look, no, don't worship many gods, worship only one. Yeah? He got persecuted for this. He got offered money. He got offered women. He got offered status, but he didn't accept any of these things because he wanted to teach the message from God. That's one of the few reasons I believe to him to be a, a messenger of God, a prophet. Because the fact of the matter is, whatever came from him, yeah, if it's perfect and it's been perfectly preserved, which is the Quran, because Allah chose him to give him the Quran. So if there's no mistakes in the Quran, then he must be a messenger of God. Now, my evidence, tangible, because you want physical evidence here, yeah? this book has not a word, not a letter, not a dot has been changed over 1400 years. How much do you say that has been changed? No, no, no. Google it, madam. When you get home or on your way home, Google Quran, Birmingham, manuscript. In this country, you have non-Muslim academics who have said yeah. this book has never been changed. They've carbon dated it into the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad. Non, I'm not saying this, non-Muslim <laughs> academics are saying this. Not Shia, not Sunni, not Brelvi, not this, not that. Non-Muslims, Kafirs, atheists, whatever you want to call them, are saying that this, has, this is a scripture that's never been changed. 
Now, being someone who's studied Islam for 12 years, right? You should know we have over 200 million people have memorized the Quran in Arabic, in the language it was revealed in, word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. I would never do that. I hate Arabic. You don't need to do that. Other people have. You can destroy the internet, break the internet. Yeah? You can destroy all the libraries, all the, burn all the books in the world. The only book that will survive is the Quran because it's the only scripture that has been memorized word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. And I'm sure even you know people who have memorized the Quran, the half is of the Quran. Does that make sense? Islam is the fastest Islam growing religion in the world. Is it? Madam, I'm going to let you go. Can I ask you one question before you go? Okay. Yeah? What's your view on Palestine? Your view on Palestine? My view? Yeah, Palestine? Palestine? Palestine, Palestine, Gaza. What? Um, the occupying state Israel is bombing Palestinian um, people. Okay, in then this last part, I did not understand any, any of it. That's fine, madam. Thank you so much for your time. Do you have any questions for me before you go? No, thank you. Why are you wearing a cross, by the way? <laughs> cross earrings. Is that a cross? Earring, earring. I like that. It's just design. Yeah. No problem. I sincerely I appreciate your time. I just like yeah, the design. Yeah, that's fine. No, no. I appreciate your time, madam. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a lovely evening. Thanks. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Subhanallah. Anyone who's witnessed that conversation, she's making these claims. She's not willing to back it up. Unfortunately, she's had most likely a terrible experience in Iran, which has distanced her from religion, from Islam. Alhamdulillah, there's part of her who wants to believe in God, but she needs to realize that if, as there is, that inclination, that belief in God, Allah, then what does Allah want from us? We need to connect back to the perfect scripture revealed by Allah, go back to the prophets and messengers, because all the major religions in the world believe in prophets and messengers, but she's choosing not to. And even herself, she said that she wants to follow herself, follow what she believes. But she hasn't been able to prove why she believes or her reasoning for what she believes and why she believes and why is it correct and why she's easy it's easy for her to say this is wrong i disagree with this but when i ask her why she's not able to give me the reason for it so may allah guide her and assalamu alaikum